Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. Welcome to week 38. All right, I think it's week 38. Let me check. It is week 38. Uh, yes, week 38, the fourth week of a five week rank advancement. Yes, yes. What do you want? You want to do your... <laughs> my, my son wants me to stop Instagram. Okay, love you. All right, guys. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to week 38. It's a five-week rank advancement. That means next week is rank advancement week. This week is the second week of the Mega B, the Change Million Dollar Bonanza. So before I talk about that, let me do a big shout out firstly to my brother J.R. Meyer, who I miss so much because J.R. was here for one week. Uh, we did so much. We, we, we put together all our strategies for the remainder of the year and I was very sad, Apu, when you left on Friday. All right. Hope you had a good time with your amazing son, Louis, and your wife. All right. Uh, big shout out to Sachin Malik, Muna Guda, Rania. Vicky Ras, Shushma, Marwan, what's up, bro? Can't wait to see you for VCon. Saukaina, Siamak, hi Siamak. I haven't read your messages, but I'll read my warrior in Africa. Bulache, Muhammad, okay. Kalai, what's up, Kalai? Just message you today. Balaji, all the members of the core, all right. Uh, Muktadir, what's up, bro? Nabin, millionaire. Bulbul, Warun. Vicky Ras, Tipa, how are you, Tipa? All right. Uh, Kunan, what's up, Apu? Abhishek, Dr. Vish, Joda, Prane, how are you? Yeah, he was saying Papa, uh, Pony. He gets very excited nowadays. Rajesh, Ayman, uh, Shipra must be there. Atli Hassan, my warrior brother, the one and only. All right. Sukhvinder, how are you? Sastrikal, Saukaina, Amarnath. Prajapati, Balakrish Bashbeani, Rajesh Pani, Sima Kilare, Danaraj, from Ghana, Kax Baby, Girish, Jayita, Sati must be online, I always have to recognize him, um, Erdal, Pia Rohunzai, Amak, Amak, Saad, Amak819 is also a supporter of Arsenal. Ranjan from India, what's up? Approach Infinity, Pitoma. All right, I see all of you guys. Brijesh, I see you, my brother. Anjali, Rajesh, Papodara, Akrati, uh, Vijay Kumam, uh, Saurabh, Mr. CP Diora, Faisal Khan, Crazy Heart. You know, Dark Miss has been missing for some time. Dark Miss, are you there? Excited about VCon? Yes. Yogendra, Nurel Huda, Assalamualaikum, Pandey, Amit. All right. Okay, so guys, welcome to week 38. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I hope you guys watch my Wednesday message. I hope you guys have subscribed to my YouTube channel. My new video is out about belief. My Wednesday message was long overdue. It was about remembering that it's not a social club and we are here to achieve our financial goals. All right. Okay. Now, this week is exciting, guys. We are getting closer to VCon. Crazy, crazy uh, excitement all through the QI Tower. JR was here. We are putting our final touches to VCon. Dato Sri Vijay Japa, both excited about finally standing on that stage to a full house arena of Spice Arena Penang. All right. And then we decided on our 24th anniversary to bring back one of the most exciting freaking promos ever in QNET history, which we used to call the pot of gold, if some of you remember. It's the Be The Change Million Dollar Bonanza. All right. I made a video and I want to correct something on my video. Uh, when you get, if, if your direct referral finds two, you get one share. 
uh, based on the BV, your shares go up to three and five. Okay, but I said that it doesn't apply to all direct referrals before the promo period. I stand corrected. It applies to all your direct referrals, including your direct referral from 1998. So go out there, push all your directs, all new, brand new directs to find two, depending whether it's 1,000 one, one BV, 3,000 BV, 5,000 BV, and you get number of shares. We take all the shares that are qualified, divide it by a million dollars, but don't worry, you're still guaranteed a minimum of $80 per share, no matter how many people qualify. Now, if one person only qualifies, you actually get a million dollars, all right? It's unbelievable. The world is going crazy. No one is sleeping. Some of the local markets, you have your own local bonanza, all right? Uh, still very attractive, so make sure you qualify. And uh, it's been crazy. For those coming to VCon, I promise you, this VCon is going to blow your mind. For those who couldn't get a ticket, make sure you get a ticket for the next VCon and buy your tickets early. I believe we are opening up sales for the next VCon right after this VCon is over. All right. Uh, next year. And it's going to be unbelievable, guys. Um, VCon is on 7 to 11 October, where you get to see the great ones. Japadas Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. Now... This week, I want to talk about something very important, okay? All right? I realize that over the years, everyone building your business, okay? Everyone, okay? Every networker, this applies equally. Vicky, uh, Kuna, and Muktader, it applies. Uh, Rita, Lorene, it applies to the corporate people, all right? It applies to both families, the V Network family, and the QI corporate family, and I think JR understands more better than what I'm talking about, all right? For the next 20 minutes, listen very carefully, okay? Now, the first acknowledgement that we must make, that we are human, okay? We are all human. We are not robots, you understand? The difference between a robot and human is the fact that we, are, we have emotions, we have a heart, we have a mind that is capable of thought, uh, dreaming about the future, remembering the past. And don't misunderstand me, but one thing I've learned being a student of Datu Sri Vijay is that the human is flawed, is not perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. Everyone has their weaknesses, their challenges, their good days, their bad days, and it's okay. All right, And sometimes I feel that when you see the great ones like Japa, Dato Sri Vijay or their warriors, Arun, Atli, Sati, David, all right, and you see them, you think, wow, these guys are perfect, all right, okay? But we are not, all right? J.R. Maya is not perfect. Patman is not perfect. Atli is not perfect. Sati is not perfect. We are human and we come with a a mix of, of emotions and challenges and weaknesses and strengths, all right? And we all battle our ego every single day. So sometimes I believe that there is this desire to be perfect by a lot of people, thinking that to achieve max out, to achieve greatness in network marketing or the corporate world, to some extent you have to strive for perfection. That's not necessary, all right? It's okay to be human. It's okay to have bad days, guys, all right? It's okay to shed a tear once in a while. We all do. Maybe when we come on Instagram Live or we are on VCon stage, we personify this aura of perfection, you know? All right? You know, understand, I am a warrior. You understand not? Oh, or they talk about their journey like it was without challenges. No, we all had challenges, all right? We all got tired once in a while, all right? There were many mornings where I didn't feel like getting out of bed, all right? There were moments where I felt that life was unfair on me, you understand? There were times where I couldn't take it anymore, you know, the, the late nights, the presentations, and then you build a network to 1,000 signups a week and some 
bloody journalist or some government agency decides to attack and then you lose 80% of your network and you have to build it from scratch again and again, all right? And some of us, um, you know, achieve great success and then not so good success and then very bad results. And then we had to restart our engines and build it back again. Not all our relationships were perfect. We, we signed up people who were disloyal to us. All right, there were people who breached our trust. There are people who hurt us every day, and equally, <clears throat> we hurt people knowingly or unknowingly because we are human. That's it. And being human, I think, is the most beautiful thing. But you know, I realized something, and I want to share with you you are in control. Of what you feel. Don't fall into this bull sugar trap that you can't control your emotions, that you can't control the way you think. You can, but it takes practice, it takes understanding, it takes matureness, it takes a lot of support from people around you. So today I'm going to tell you how I handle my life. All right. I know a lot of you, you know, say, Chief, we love you. You're amazing. You're this, you're that. I am many things. <clears throat> but I'm also Patman Senati Raja. I'm also human. I have my good days. I have my bad days. I have fears. Lesser today than 24 years ago. Thanks to Dato Sri Vijay. Thanks to my mother. Thanks to my brothers, like, you know, J.R. Meyer, who's on this Insta Live today. So let's first understand what it means to be human. The first rule that you have to accept, huh? and again, if you don't agree with what I say, I'm cool with it. I'm not forcing you to agree. All right? I'm just telling you that this is how I live my life. And if it adds value to you, if it uh, helps you, then apply it. If you think it's all bull sugar, <clears throat> then just look at this gorgeous face and enjoy and mute your phone or switch off the volume. And then you can just see me smiling and going crazy half the time. All right. The first rule is that things will happen to you, whether you like it or not. I call this the master plan or God's plan. Okay. Whatever your faith, whether you're Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, all right, whatever your, 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 your belief system, I respect all belief systems. However you connect to the supreme being or the supreme power or a scientific theory, it's okay. As long as you believe there's something greater than you above you, all right, that has a master plan for your journey of life. So things will happen and it's not in your control. You can't stop rain. Accidents do happen, all right? Everything that happens to you happens for a reason. A reason that you may not understand at that moment, which leads you to anger, frustration, uh, sadness, tears, you understand? But things happen for a reason. And one day you will understand that reason. And understanding that reason requires some level of growth, uh, maturity uh, that you can get from finding a mentor like how I found Dato Sri Vijay all right? or reading or even watching YouTube and understanding the concept of life. Things will always happen. They happen for a reason beyond your understanding. Even a crisis in your market technically cannot happen without his will. Remember the statement Dato Sri Vijay taught me 24 years ago, which I didn't understand that then, but I understand now that a single blade of grass cannot move without his will. So how can a newspaper article exist unless it's his will, right, to teach us something? So the way I live today, to the best of my ability, I still get angry, I still get sad, much lesser than before is that I don't blame anyone. 
I don't blame God, the world, the government, whatever. No. I try to understand why this is happening. It's fundamentally important. What lesson am I supposed to learn from this? Right? So let's take something that you will all disagree with me. A crisis in your market. A crisis in your market happens for a reason. Maybe to show you who are truly loyal to you. Maybe to show you whether your dream is truly something you're willing to fight for and die for. Maybe to humble you because you have taken his blessings for granted. Or maybe your ego has grown so big that you believe you are immortal or untouchable. There are many reasons. Maybe it is to bring you closer to somebody. Maybe it's to bring you closer to the company. Because I realized during the crises all around the world, that's the time I speak the most to the leaders on the ground. And that's also the time I speak the most to Dato Sri Vijay to seek guidance and advice from him. So sometimes the good days, you take people around you for, for granted. But the rainy days, you seek shelter in those you trust. So, there are no mistakes in what happens to you. Don't blame. Don't complain. Learn. Understand. Now, it takes time. Huh? I'm only now starting to mature more and more not to react to what happens to me. I used to react much more. That's the first philosophy I live by. That there are no mistakes in the master plan. If a single blade of grass cannot move without his will, then nothing can happen to me unless it's his will. I just have to understand what message he's trying to send me because he can't send me a WhatsApp. All right. The second rule that I practice, that I learned from Dato Sri Vijay and my mother, anyone who comes into your life, there was a reason and purpose why that person was sent into your life. Your best friend, or your worst enemy. It doesn't matter. You don't have the ability, you don't have the right to ignore, avoid everyone that is coming into your life was sent by something more powerful for a reason, for you to learn about trust, for you to learn about how easily you trust or how not easily you trust. If your heart has been broken, there is a reason. Because every time your heart is broken and it, and it heals, it becomes stronger and stronger. If your heart is broken 10 times, you have a very strong heart today. Do you understand? Everyone comes into your reason for a reason. For, everyone comes into your life for a reason. Whoever it may be, including your worst enemy. I know it's not easy. You look at the person and say, I hate the person. I'm trying to look at the person and say, what am I supposed to learn from this person? Why is this enemy in my life? What am I supposed to learn? What is that lesson they're trying to teach me? All right? I don't react to my enemies anymore. I don't hold a grudge. I don't hold a vendetta. I don't believe in revenge. If you believe in this lesson I learned from Dato Sri, that nobody can come into your life unless they are meant to come into your life. Try to understand why. Don't resist. Don't reject. Don't attack. Do, are you guys with me? So that's the second principle I live by. All right? That nobody can come into your life unless there is a reason. That's why whenever something happens, you know, even me and JR, sometimes we sit down and we complain. Why is this person here? Why is this person in our lives such a pain in the, you know? But then I stop and think and I said, I better learn something about it. Doesn't mean you don't complain about it. Doesn't mean you don't cry about it, all right, or complain, you know. The third point, a philosophy I live by. You must have minimum of one person, one person who you can talk to about anything and everything. One person. Minimum of one person you can talk to any time of the day about anything and everything. Are you guys with me? That one best friend, that sister, that brother, that soulmate. If you're lucky enough, it could be your wife or your husband. If not, your brother, your best friend. You must have one person. You can say anything. There, there, 
there can be no secrets that should die with you. Because carrying the burden of a secret that only you know is a very big burden. And that burden impacts your journey of life. Trust me. So you must have that one person. Right? Minimum. If you have three people, even better. You have four people, even better. You have five people, even better. But I think most people have one or two. Somebody you can talk to. You can pour your heart out. You can be yourself with no fear of judgment, no fear of consequence. You must have that one person. That is the most fundamental, important thing of your journey of life. All right? Again, it could be your, if it's your wife or husband, you're the luckiest person on the planet. Because to have your life partner as someone you can talk to about anything or everything and express yourself is a blessing or not it could be a best friend a brother a sister but you must have that one person all right you must have that one person okay the 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 fourth or fifth for i lost track maybe kalai can keep track the fourth thing all right is that whatever gives you the greatest joy whatever gives you the greatest self joy all right could be a very good thing or a very bad thing. Are you guys with me? So I give you an example. I used to drink alcohol when I was younger. Even when I was building my network, I used to drink a lot. It gave me, it gave me great joy. Later I found out it was a form of escapism, but all a long story, I'll talk about it another day. And it gave me great joy, but it also was very bad for me. It destroyed my relationships. It destroyed a lot of things. All right? It became an addiction. So I had to stop. So you have to recognize the fact that all these habits that give you great joy, habits, all right, are also the greatest potential downfall of your life. So you need to be intelligent enough to give up what may be giving you great joy any form of addiction or habit that may be giving you great joy, you have to give it up eventually. I know it's bullshit about, sorry, bull sugar about stop now, you know. It, it, I stopped overnight. I, I had no other method. To me, it's yes or no. I don't have slowly transition stuff. I can't do that. That's how I am built. So at the age of 26, 27 years old, I completely stop alcohol. I don't even eat fruitcake with brandy inside. I completely stop alcohol because I knew it was bad for me. So you need to be able to be matured enough, to be grown up enough, to see what is bad, all right, um, to you. You need that. You, you, you need that ability. And you need to allow others to point it out. Now, if you're not sure whether it's good or bad for you, ask five of the people closest to you whether it's good or bad for you. And they will tell you the truth if you have honest friends and family. They will tell you which of your habits are bad for you, all right? And that's the one you have to stop, all right? And I'm linking all of this back to max out financial freedom, personal growth, all right? Everything is connected. You must give up something to truly change. That's a better way of putting it, I believe. That you have to truly give up something significant in your life to change. Or you should start something significant in your life to change. All the small, 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 small changes you make, all the things you think you are going to give up, like, oh, I'm going to start exercising every Monday, I'm going to drink more water, I need to drink water. All that is insignificant. You want to see great change in yourself. You want to see great growth in yourself. You must make significant change. Are you guys with me? Significant. One thing. Big. Big sacrifice. Big no. Big giving up. Big, big, huge. All right? Being a vegetarian. Giving up alcohol. Uh, whatever, you know. You know, something significant must happen. Okay, 
for there to be great change in you. So you need to identify that. Okay? The, the sixth rule that I practice, nobody, nobody will meet your expectation. This is a rule I've given David Sharma. I was talking to Dave Joel about this. Nobody will meet your expectation. Nobody. All right? So don't be a moron. And get frustrated when your downlines don't meet your expectation. Or your uplines don't meet your expectation. Or your spouse don't meet your expectation. Or your kids don't meet your expectation. Nobody on the planet will meet your expectation. I have never met Dato Sri's expectation. You can ask him. He loves me. I'm his student. I love him. He's my mentor. But I've never met his expectation. I'm sure I disappoint him every single day of my existence even after 24 years. But it's okay. Why? Because we are human. Alright? And for you to get angry at that person, for you to get frustrated at that person, is stupidity. Instead, you need to understand that person and try to help raise that person higher. That is what Datu Sri Vijay has done for 24 years. And that requires tremendous patience. It requires tremendous patience to help people grow. If you do not have the patience to help people grow, you cannot become a leader. You cannot become successful in life. All right? If you only want to surround yourself by people who meet your expectation, it will add no value to you. You must find the person who least meets your expectation. The worst downline, the worst employee. And if you can help raise that person, you grow as a leader, you grow as a person. All right? And this is fundamentally important. Nobody meets my expectation. I know nobody's going to meet my expectation. But I don't give up on people. I'm trained by Dato Sri Vijay. I never give up on people. And today I have more and more patience than I ever had to give people a chance to grow, to mentor them, to hold their hand. All right, this is fundamentally important. All right, and the final, final advice for this Instagram life on how I lead my life. All right, love, laughter, all right, is so important on this journey of life. If there's one day I don't laugh, or I don't make my wife or my people around me laugh. I have failed. There is no greater thing than laughter. There is no greater thing than love. It's okay to say I love you 200 times. I even say it to JR every day. It's okay to open your heart. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to not be perfect. It's, it's okay. All right? But life is too short. Enjoy every moment. Live every moment like it's your last day. And if it's your last day, you want it to be filled with laughter and love. Think about it. What would you want your last day on planet Earth to be filled with? A sad face, tears, depression, or a smile, laughter, and love. So if I recognize today as my last day, I want it to be filled with laughter and love. Laugh at the small things. Hug your loved ones. All right? Tickle your wife or husband once in a while. Don't ignore them. Life without laughter and love is not worth living. So that's how I lead my life. At least part of how I lead my life. I hope it helps. All right? And please share this video with as many people as you can. Vcon is coming. The million dollar bonanza is on. This is week 38. Next week is week of rank advancement. Wherever you are in the world, you're part of our family. You're part of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay's family. And my final words on this Instagram life. Stop listening to the world. And one day, the world will start listening to you. I love you guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. Whoever you are. Wherever you are, look into my eyes. You are unbelievable. You are special. You are magical. You are powerful. You are human. All right? And I love you for who you are. Always.
Love you guys.